This game looks insane. Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and today we're going to go ahead and take a look at what's causing the player count to drop really badly for Apex Legends, what the respawn team is going to do in the future to actually try to fix this issue, and is there hope for Apex Legends with the new competitive FPS games coming out? We're also going to give out 45 bucks, all you got to do is like, comment, subscribe, you guys know the drill, but without further ado, let's explore the new Apex problem. So just last August, Apex Legends did something pretty incredible for a game that is about three and a half years old. It set an all-time player count high, going into a half a million players for the launch of season 14 and this was only with a new legend added some map changes to an existing king's canyon map and no new weapon or any new system other than that however just three short months later it has completely taken a different turn with the launch of their brand new season 15 the new legend catalyst and a brand new map we've never seen before as the numbers have only gone up to about where they were in season 12 as bias 12 points out and so the question becomes why with adding more stuff than even last season is the player count actually dwindling where they had a 1.100 million different accounts Counts. Most of those were probably smurfs, let's just be honest here. Well, there's a couple of fundamental problems that Apex Legends is running into right now. The first obvious one is that Modern Warfare 2 and Overwatch 2 have both released in the last month. And while I will say that mechanically the games aren't as good as Apex Legends, that's just my personal opinion, it is something completely new that players haven't seen before, with different ways of playing the game and a bunch of maps we have also never seen. But there's also some other fundamental issues. The game just isn't changing enough with the current player base. One would be the fact that we are onto another season of Ranked, and so far from what we can see, the only rewards are pretty much the same dive trails, charms, and badges. I will say that Seno showed us what some of the charms were for arenas, I believe, and they look pretty cool, but it isn't still worth grinding an entire season to do so. Especially when you consider that this season is going to be the second longest of Apex Legends ever at 105 days and will last all the way until February 14th or on Valentine's Day. And the first split is going to be 76 days. And regardless of Josh Medina saying it'll be worth it at the end of the rainbow, I promise, empty promises don't really mean that much. We've heard all about the talk about cross progression is coming there will be another next gen update which pushes consoles to 120 frames per second still have not seen any of that the rank system has seen almost no changes whatsoever and in fact the apex legends community such as minus tempo and a team are actually working on a rank system with the idea that if they give some ideas to respawn maybe they'll actually implement them and they're pretty great it would go back to the season 13 style ranked but they would have rotating maps six hours each so we're not playing on one map for the entire split and player and team ratings medina even gave a little emoji at it doesn't really give us much idea of whether or not they're actually going to implement it but at least some change would at least make the game a little bit more interesting speaking of promises that we've been waiting for for so very long brandon coleman asked will normal players ever get customs would be so doped and medina did say that they will however we have been waiting for about two years since the first announcement from chad grenier but it does look like from some information Carl rindo found that there is a create a match and a tournament match ui that's been put into the game file so it does look like custom lobbies are actually closer than ever i would actually say there's a chance we get it at the midpoint update or maybe it'll finally be ready for season 16. But I don't know if that's going to be enough to actually save the game at this point, because that's still very far away. And until then, all we know about is that we are going to be getting the Winter Express returning on December 6th, which is a game mode that we have seen for every single holiday event. It's the same exact game mode, it looks like, where it's on World's Edge and it's on the train. Yes, there will be free prize trackers with some charms, alternator skin, and at the end of it, a Gibraltar epic skin. But this is the same exact formula we see every single season. There's a collection event, there's a thematic event. Sometimes we get a new game mode but sometimes it's a recycled one like winter express that we've played a million times before even small little things like doing a firing range update would be universally amazing as it would just give us more options to experience and practice i love apex legends i think it's one of the most mechanically fun games out there and i will always enjoy it but when you're a three and a half year old live service game you really need to step it up in terms of the content that you are producing especially when heavily competitive games come out at the same time let me know down below what your guys' thoughts are on the state of apex legends right now i'm also going to be playing the brand new god of war game ragnarok this morning right when this video launches if you want to come hang out you can click on this link right here or just check out my other channel thornton plays where i do live stream reviews of the newest games coming out i'm really looking forward to this one and it would be awesome to chat with you guys all and we can actually live discuss the state of apex legends and until next time legends keep slaying the outlands and i'll see you out there